Hey, I'm going to show you today how to make your very first contribution to the open source community. We will be using a GitHub repository made available by fantastic Eddie Jaude, who's a big supporter of the open source community. So as you can see, I already forked his repository here to my GitHub, Hannah Sophie MBB. Um, and we'll be using that in order to add our name here to this list. At the moment, there's no one with the name Hannah under H, and this is what we want to change. So follow along to also add your name. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a local copy of this repository on your local machine, how to edit the file, and how to commit the changes, um, push them back to GitHub, and finally create a pull request. So we need to get started um, by going here to the code section, copying the SSH link, um, opening our terminal, making sure that we are in the dash dash, it's a much better environment for coding. And then we're just gonna clone the repository. Okay, voila, all cloned. Um, now you can see we have a folder on our laptop called open source practice. So I need to be able to access this folder. So what I will do is I will copy this as a path name. I will change my working directory CD to this folder. So now I'm in the folder open source practice. That's great. Um, and what I want to do next, I want to create my new branch. Um, how do I do that? It's quite simple. Actually, I will just use git checker minus B. Um, that will create a new branch here in this folder. And I need to name it. So I'm just going to name it um, Hannah. Now we're switched to a new branch called HANA. And what I want to do now is I need to edit on the open source practice folder, the readme file. I always like to use um, Visual Studio uh, environment. So what we'll do here now is I will not delete anyone, but make sure that I can add my name to the file here. And then I'll also um, add my link up from GitHub up here. Up. That's done. Now we need to save the changes. So Command S, and then the changes should be in the README file. Uh, what I need to do next, after I've edited this file, um, I need to stage the changes. So what we'll do is we'll just tell here our folder that we want to add this. So we do git add README minus MD. That is added. That worked. That's great. Now we need to commit the changes. Um, we can use here the command git commit minus m and then we um, can just call this hana again yep. so you can see here one file changed um, we made one insertion to the readme file that's exactly correct um, we can check the status here just to understand what happened we're still on the branch hana that's great nothing to commit because we already did that and we will work we're working on a cl clean tree here um, now we need to push these changes to the repository on GitHub. Um, so we will just say git push origin and then the name of our branch, which is HANA. Go. Great. So now we are, um, we pushed it and you can already say, see now what happened here is HANA has recently pushed uh, a change. So now this is really cool. It's my favorite part. Um, basically, when we have raised this pull request, we can go here to the compare and pull, pull request button. And what we will do then, um, we just review the changes. And what you can see here is, yay, we have uh, made one change to the file, which is exactly what we called it, which is HANA. And now we are on the list. So this was all what we needed to do. Um, then we can create a pull request. Great, this was it. And now we, when we go back to the open source practice file under H, we should now be able to see our name. And why do I not see my name? So this is great. Now we've created a pull request, as you've seen, um, just from our terminal. We push the changes here to the overall um, repository. And you can see the change here is um, pending. So basically, they will review it and then add our um, name to the list. 
Um, so that was all what I wanted to show you today. Now we've successfully forged a project. We have made changes um, locally in our machine. We have pushed these changes back here to the open repository and um, have created a pull request. That was all. Thank you.